Hi, I'm Mr. V, and this is the fourth part of the review from Unit 3, where I'm going through some questions that are from the different lessons um, that look like questions that are on the test. And um, let's just go through it. This question looks an awful lot like the one we did last time, which was this question, where we actually had to find the length of AB and find the length of BB prime. We found that it was 7 halves. So here we're asked to find what is the length of BB prime. And it's going to be 7 halves, which is 3 and a half. But let's just work through it to, to show that we know what we're doing. Um, the lines are parallel. They'll divide this into proportional parts. So if I call BB prime x, I have x is to 3 as 7 is to 6. Cross multiply, I get 6x is equal to 21. Divide both sides by 6, x is equal to 21 over 6. That's not one of my answers. If you plug this in a calculator, though, however, you get 7 halves or 3 and 1 half. And that's what our answer is from here. Elena thinks that BC is 16.5. Lynn thinks that the length of BC is 17.1. Do you agree with either of them? I don't, because I don't know how long it's going to be because I don't know, I have similar triangles. These are not proportional parts. Two is to four as nine is to five is to nine. This is not equal. So these are not proportional parts. I don't have any indication of how long this is going to be. In a right triangle, altitude is drawn front to the hypotenuse. Which triangles must be similar? I'm going to separate the three triangles. First of all, if this is a red, in this large triangle, this is blue and this is red. This one, the, the red and the red and the blue have to add to 90 because the three angles add to 90. Now in this triangle, I have the one angle here is going to be 90. And if the one angle is red, the other one has to be blue. So this one would be blue. And at this triangle, if the one angle is blue, the other one has to be the red. And these two together, add to 90, just like these two in the big one, add to 90. Now I can separate the triangles and tell you which ones are similar to A, B, C. So I'm going to draw A, B, C like this. I should do it in a different color. Draw it just like it's shown. A, B, C. My right angle's here, my one tick is here, and the one with the like this. And I can redraw the other two triangles with the same configuration and like this. And then it's a question of labeling them. And if I get the labels right, then I can do this. So in the middle triangle, my right angle is C. And the one tick is no. In the middle triangle, the right angle is D. And the one tick here is C. So this would be B. In the tiny triangle, the right angle is D, and the one tick is going to be A, and then this other one would be C. So now we can write the triangles that are similar. ABC is similar to CBD, which is similar to triangle, these are triangles, to triangle ACD. So my answers are ACD and CBD, CBD, and those are the only two. And I found it by separating the triangles. This also is a good way to set up the proportions to separate the triangles. Here we have a triangle with H drawn, and it's the is hypotenuse to its, to its hypotenuse. So we have an, a geometric mean. We also know that AD is 12, that's this length, and that BB is three. What is the value of H? Let's separate these two triangles. I have the one triangle here like this. Notice this angle is going to be the same as this one. And this is a right angle. So I have my right angle and my one angle. This is 12. This is H. And in the little tiny triangle, I have the one tick here like this. This is going to be 3 and this is H. What makes this a geometric mean is that when I have 12 is to H, h is to 3, these two values, the means, these are extremes, the means are the same. So I get h squared is equal to 3 times 6, which is 36, 
When I take the square root of both sides, I get a plus or minus 6. We'll ignore the negative root. H is 6. I could have also looked at this as the Mickey Mouse theorem. Remember, when we have three geometric means, this is to this, as this is to this. So I could have said right off the bat, three, 12 is to H as H is to 3. In triangle ABC, A, B, C, not a right triangle, the altitude is drawn. The length of AB is C. Which of the following must be true? The measure of angle ACB, ACB, is the same as the measure as the measure of angle B. And that would, hmm, that's not, that doesn't have to be true. How about B squared is equal to C squared, this whole thing, plus A squared. That doesn't make sense either. Triangle ADC, ADC, is similar to triangle ACB. And I'm going to say this has one angle here that is the same, but I don't know that this is the right angle. So I don't have two angles that are the same. I can't say that. The area of triangle ABC is equal to ABC is one half of height times C. Well, that's true. It's one half of the base, which is this distance, and the height is going to be this distance. So that's true. Triangle DEF is formed by connecting the midpoints of the sides of the triangle. Select all statements that are true. Notice we have, if these are connecting midpoints, we have parallel lines here, here, and here. These two lines are parallel. And these two lines are parallel. Alternate interior angles are congruent. So this, I should have drawn this. This is this line here. Triangle BDE, BDE, is congruent to triangle FCE, FCE. BDE, FCE, the letters have to match up. They don't. BDE. Would it match up with, would be congruent to triangle EFC? So this is not true. BDE is congruent to triangle FDA. FDA. No, it would be congruent to triangle D, triangle DAF. So this is not true. BD is congruent to FE. BD is this distance. FE is right here. That is true. The length of the segment BC is 8. BC is going to be from here all the way across. If this is 4, this is 4, and this is 4, this would be true. The length of BC is 6. B to C is 6. That's not true. It can't both be true. In this diagram, lines AC, this one, and DE are parallel. Well, that's convenient. Here I have one angle, here I have a second angle. This means that these two triangles are similar. Um, DC is perpendicular to each of them. What is the reasonable estimate for the side of BE? Well, let's just set this up. Let's see here. A reasonable estimate for the side. I can't tell how far this... Let's see here. Using my finger. One, two, three. One. One, two, three, four. One. I don't know. DB, I think it's probably one part to four parts. Something like that, maybe. Reasonable estimate for BE. If this is about one fourth of this distance, maybe one one and a fourth, something like that. About one one and a fourth is an estimate. I could redraw the triangles and say that if this is five and this is four, this is A, C, and B. And since their lines are parallel, I have this angle and this angle are congruent. When I redraw them, I have 
the small triangle, but I don't know any of the side lengths. So I kind of have to estimate. I just put my finger on it and tried to estimate it. I think that's probably reasonable, one to four. And our last question. In the right triangle ABC, the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse, length H. We know AD is eight and DB is two. What is the value of H? I could break these into two similar triangles because I have this angle is congruent to this one. So the right angle in here. So I have eight going to A, and this would be D and C. I could have uh, C is over here, D and B. This length is two. And this is H, and this is H. Maybe you noticed this middle line is a geometric mean. So 8 is to H as H is to 2. I could also look at this 8 is to H as H is to 2. When it's a geometric mean, the means are the same value. H squared is equal to 16. H is equal to 4. And that's the last of my problems. Good luck and success.